From the Washington Post, this bombshell, classified documents relating to nuclear weapons were among the items FBI agents sought in a search of former President Trump's Florida residence on Monday, according to people familiar with the investigation. What exactly does that mean? Classified documents relating to nuclear weapons. We really don't know. We do not know. It would seem pretty definitive, wouldn't it? And if the guy had nuclear secrets kept in boxes, you know, they call them banker boxes. It's funny. I was just at uh, Staples this week and I had to buy a couple of banker boxes, those sort of legalese uh, cardboard boxes that, that, that take the long form, the legal files. If he had nuclear secrets in the basement at Mar-a-Lago next to his golf shoes and the sport coats that no longer fit, oh, wait a minute, that's my basement? Uh, then it's egregious, right? And then you would say, I think you would then say, Merrick Garland was justified in authorizing the search warrant. Kind of vague, though, the way the Washington Post wrote it. Garland then comes out. He calls Trump's bluff. Justice files a motion to unseal the warrant and the inventory, not the affidavit. I've gone through this several times. I think POTUS listeners get by now the difference between an affidavit that gets filed, provided to the magistrate judge from whom uh, they are seeking the search warrant. That's different from the warrant and the inventory. But here's what you most need to know, and I've said this so many times, but I'll say it again. Donald Trump has been in possession of the warrant and the inventory since the raid took place. Nothing stops him from releasing it on his own. Yesterday on air, I talked about how David French said, you know, he'll release it when it suits him. He hasn't needed to do that because he's been winning, at least with his base so far. So Garland calls his bluff. Trump last night says, okay, uh, well, actually, I'll read to you what he posted at Truth Social. Not only will I not oppose the release of documents related to the un American, unwarranted, unnecessary raid and break in, of my home in Palm Beach, Florida, Mar-a-Lago, I'm going a step further by encouraging the immediate release of these documents, even though they've been drawn up by radical left Democrats and possible future political opponents who had a strong and powerful vested interest in attacking me, much as they have done for the last six years. So when we see the documents, will we get beyond our partisan lenses? No, is the answer to that question. 